Hey y'all, it's Nikki. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today I'm reviewing this wig that I got from Waba Hair Supply. I purchased it myself and at the time it was $16 is what I paid for it y'all. But it was during like, you know, Christmas or Thanksgiving when they were having those good old Black Friday deals and stuff and like coupon codes. Um, I don't know if it's still $16 right now. It probably isn't. But they always have um, codes on their site and stuff so Definitely check them out. I'll leave a link to their site in the description box. And you know, browse, they got a lot of nice wigs, good prices, and they usually always have coupon codes, y'all. So the wig I'm gonna be talking about today is from, it's called The True Wig Company. I think I heard of them before, but I never reviewed a wig from them before. And this is one side of the stock card, and here's the other side, and the name of it is, it's a number, it's NBSI1931. And um, let's see if it has any claims. It says 100% heat retardant fiber, Swiss lace, blah, 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 Swiss lace front wig, Swiss transparent lace, HD, pre-plucked ear to ear lace with baby hair. So that's all the claims on it. Let's open it up and see what. Just, I guess it's sorry about the little light, y'all. It just shows um how to use the tape. See, it comes with some tape. And um, tape is a good option if you don't want to, um, you know, gel or spray your wig down. Tape does a good job. It really, really does. So um, the color I have is TT4 Ash Blonde, which is the same color she has on. Very, very cute, y'all. I showed out the construction. It's two combs in the front, comb in the back, adjustable straps. The cap size feels medium to average, and the texture, y'all, is going to be a light yakky, nice, you know, nice texture. And um, I haven't gotten much tangling, but um, I am seeing some shedding, like almost every time I run my fingers through it. Not all the time, but quite a lot. So it may or may not stop. I can't really tell you unless I wear it out. And then, you know, I could let you know. Because sometimes wigs is shed initially and then they'll stop after that. So, um, right now it is shedding. But I wouldn't call it super major. But it's definitely there. Um, here's the parting space, y'all. You get a nice, good, long, deep parting. Um, off camera, I did go ahead and um, of course I put some powder underneath, as always. And um, I did tweeze a couple hairs out. Um, not because it wasn't clear enough, but the knots are kind of big in the parting. So, I just picked a couple out. Um, and it came out super easy, you know, no big deal. Um, what I will say is what I noticed, I showed it at the beginning as well, y'all. Um, see that right there? It's like underneath the cap, it's just like a, I don't know, it's just a piece that's right there. And um, maybe if I use a different powder on top or like a liquid a liquid foundation on top, it would cover it more. I just use my um, Fit Me powder. So it could probably be more this disguisable <laughs> but right now I mean it doesn't look too bad I'll still wear it like this personally but um I did notice I noticed this on some other wigs before in the past but um it's usually not as prevalent as it is with this one but um I mean it wouldn't stop me from wearing the wig personally and like I said it could be an easy fix I'm sure if you use a darker powder or liquid or something you know you could excuse me you could make it work but um I didn't do all that y'all the style is a cute, simple, I think it could be good for every day and good for work type of wig. It's very easy, beginner friendly. I didn't have to do much, put some heat to it, and really that was it. Um, but speaking of the style, guys, this wig is like the, literally the last wig I reviewed. It's like the same, I guess it's kind of the same style and the same length as well. So these ends keep like bumping up, going crazy over here. But on the model, you see they're like tamed down. But on me, they're kind of like, you know, kind of going crazy. But um, if that's bothersome, I'm sure you could put some heat to it to like tame it down some. Or you could chop it off if you, you know, chop it off and make it a little shorter. I'm sure that'll help too. But um, it's no big deal to me, really. Um, and it got this long layer right here. You might want to layer that too, if you like. But um. It's kind of getting on my nerves because it keeps getting in my getting in my eyelash right there. <laughs> but uh, but it's cute, yo. It's a cute look, and um, I think it's it's a cute wig overall. 
And y'all, this color is just absolutely gorgeous. It's like, you know, a good number four. And then the way they blended this ash blonde is just so nicely, y'all. They got all the right tones and it's just done to perfection. I really love the color blend. I think I... I don't want to say it's the thing I like most, but it is one of my favorite parts of the wig. But the style is cute too overall. Um, I got to check behind my ear because I think that always looks cute most of the time. But um, if you don't want to do that, this is how it looks if you untuck it. And, you know, it's cute either way in my opinion. Like I said, I just, you know, I just like that look. And it's not glued down, you know, didn't put no glue or nothing, no tape. Just throw it on my head and go. And I don't think you need to do all extra work. Y'all know I like easy. And this one was definitely easy. So cute, easy, affordable, and um, good for every day. So that's about it. If you have any questions in the comments, feel free to hit me up. I'll get back to you. And as always, I thank you for watching.